Now we are so lucky to live in a country with such amazing beaches, but which are the most ideal for families? Back with us in the Harvey Norman Lounge to give us some travel tips is Debbie Griffiths. Morning, Debbie. Good morning. A lot, a lot of our beaches are really secluded and out of the way, and that might be your idea of absolute heaven. Yeah. But if you've got kids who need entertaining, it's really great to have some activities nearby. OK, that's true. So let's head to the South Island first then. OK, I've got a great tip for you. Now, the locals absolutely swear by Rabbit Island. Now, I haven't been there, but it's a 20-minute drive away from Nelson. So you go there and, I mean, it's a great family day out. You take your bike, you take your togs, because this is a place that is uncomplicated, it is rustic, and it's, you know, there's just nothing there. It's pine plantation, it's white sandy beaches. See how wide those those beaches wow. are. It is gorgeous. It looks absolutely heavenly. Yeah, you can drive there or you can get the passenger and bike ferry from Mapua, which is a really bustling little seaside town there. And Mapua actually has really great cafes and fine dining as well. So this is all part of the Great Taste Trail in Tasman. So go and take your bike, take your togs and have a great time. Rabbit Island. Sounds good. So let's head over the Cook Strait now to the North Island. OK, so Oriental Bay. Now I'm bringing this one onto the list because uh, I had my first child in Wellington so we spent a lot of time when she was a toddler at Oriental Bay because it's just so easy. There's so many great activities nearby. You can go to the um, Mount Vic Chippery to eat fish and chips on the beach. You can grab a gelato from Gelissimo Gelato or from Cafe Ice. There's Freiburg Park nearby. So you've got the great ropes for the older kids or the uh, great play equipment for the younger mm. kids. You've got Waitangi Park, which is nearby, the great wide open spaces there. And of course, just 10 minutes walk, you've got Te Papa. And there's a really great exhibition there at the moment called Bug Lab, which is a collaboration between Weta Workshop and Te Papa. So great for the family. Sounds really good. I thought you were going to say for a minute there that you had your first baby on Oriental Beach. No, that's that, a whole other story. That, no, no, no. That would be bad. <laughs> OK, so let's head further north. OK, so Northland, so far, far north. OK, so Te Te Bay in Paihia is a really great place. We love Teti Bay. So we had, last time we were there, we had fish and chips on the beach. We went to Vinnie's, which does great fish and chips. There's actually another takeout store in Teti Bay. But we went to Vinnie's, call up ahead of time, grab it as you rush past, and it's absolutely there waiting for you. Great servings. The seagulls, so friendly, and uh, some of them get a little bitey if you get your fingers in the way. Watch this. Ouchie, says little eight-year-old mate. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. Slow motion, it's so <laughs> impressive. <laughs> yeah, big, fat, friendly seagulls at Tati Bay. So, and loads of other family activities nearby. So you've got... The kayaking, so you can rent kayaks nearby. Of course, there's the treaty grounds nearby, Haruru Falls, and yeah, really great place for a family beach. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah. I want to share one of my favourite beaches too with you. Go on then. Um, this one is uh, Oki Bay in the Bay of Islands. Ah. And it is stunning. We've got some beautiful pictures of it. Oh, yes. There it is. This is I took that uh, at Christmas time. We wow. were there on our boat. Now, you can drive around to it through if you go towards Rafiti. So you head out of Russell. It's quite a long drive around. So secluded. It is crystal clear. It's like Fiji waters is our wow. boat. Uh, not much probably to do except play and paddleboard and do all that sort of thing. And just, sometimes that's all you need. It was just magical. Yeah, gorgeous. Beautiful. And oh. while we're doing beaches, of course, we have to give my hometown a shout out, Mount Maunganui. Oh, yeah. yeah. When you're at Mount Maunganui, you can expect to spend a lot not a lot of time, but time in a queue waiting for Copenhagen cones because the waffle cones there are just awesome. And you can go surfing at Mount, Main Mount Beach. Of course, you can go stand up paddle boarding on Pilot Bay where yep. it's a lot calmer. And after you've done that, jump into the hot poles at the Mount because they are awesome. They really are, although packed at Christmas time, yes. it must be said. <laughs> there is also, because there's usually at Christmas time, that queue for Copenhagen ice cream that's yes. around the corner. Yeah. We snuck around at the corner to another little dairy that had giant ice creams oh. that was no queue at. That's a little sneaky tip. Oh, good tip. But it was absolutely wonderful. So many beautiful beaches, though, in New Zealand. We're pretty I mean, lucky. How do you how do you nail down which ones are the best? Yeah. So what have you got next week for us? Oh, well, I am going off to, goodness, I've got some travel to uh, Dunedin coming up. I've got Taieri Gorge in the pipeline, and I've got another trip down to Wellington as well. So lots coming up in travel. Sounds terrible. <laughs> uh, and you know what we should do, too? We should talk about my trip to Melbourne. Maybe we'll yes. reverse it one day, because I had some experiences there that were fantastic. Yes, I'd love to hear about that. You did hot air ballooning. I did. It's amazing. Very jealous. Oh, amazing. Yes. Thank you, Debbie. Uh, we are so spoiled for choice here, aren't we, with the beaches?